be broken down, but I'm smiling. I keep my head up high, though I fail. Sometimes I get a bit emotional, but then I turn around and let it go. I see you watching me from a distance. I see you can't decide what to feel. But if you dig a little deeper, boy, you know you really want to get to What's know. up, you guys? What's that? Yeah, back for another video today. I already mentioned this in my prior video, but I'm going to say it again. I am very repetitive and that's fine. But if you send me something, I'm definitely going to shout you out and I'm going to appreciate it if I really like it. So shout out, huge shout out, basically big shout out to my people at JP Craft and Company because listen, a girl need clothes. I like t-shirts. I'm not trying to be fancy. Close and personal from the waist up is good enough for me. The bottoms, of course, I got on some shorts, but they be hooking me up, making sure I look cute for the camera. I like t-shirts. If that's not what you like and you ain't into it, then honey, then I'm sorry, but I like t-shirts. I like to wear t-shirts. Easy breezy, okay? I'm an easygoing person. I like to be laid back, honey. And this is from Martin, the Martin Show. You know, Shanene, because I'm a lady. Check them out. They come in different colors. They're not just Shanene. They have like a whole bunch of genres from the early 80s to the late 90s, 2000s. Whatever your genre is, check them out because they got like some bomb ass t-shirts. And plus, you can use my discount code below, okay? So, you know. Check the description box. I'll link everything below. This is the size large that I have on, and I'm loving this color because, listen, it brings the feng shui to my whole atmosphere. Basically, I don't have to mess with the camera settings, okay? I had a situation. I was trying to be cute, and I was. Not trying. I was. Life gets hectic, and I'm not really sure how you guys do with them long claws. A girl like me needs some short nails. I could get around to buttoning my shirt, putting my lashes on. There's a whole lot of things that I can do with short nails that I cannot figure out for the life of me how y'all do it with the long nails. These will not come off, so they're here to stay. Let's call them my fancy pinky. On to the video information. I work with this company quite a few times. I can't really say it's two handfuls of times, but it's been enough. I actually worked with them like a month and a half ago on one of their bomb ass wigs. Why not do another bomb ass wig review for them? Especially if it's HD Swiss lace where it's so undetectable, you can't even see it on your skin. Like, I'm all up for it. China Lace Wigs, they did send me another wig. This one right here is actually really pretty. It's 20 inches. It's curly or wavy. I've been doing like a lot of curly and wavy wig styles lately. The less work, the better for me, okay? Because with wavy and curly hair, girl, you ain't got to really do much or nothing at all. And I'm all for it. This one is a 360 and it is 20 inches. And I'm just going to show you how your wig comes. Now listen, before I even show you how your wig comes, I'm hoping and praying that you don't get the box that I just got. I did get this box way after Christmas, like in January. And they did send me a Christmas box. But I'm pretty sure that they're not going to keep sending out Christmas boxes. I would hope not. But... If they do, let's just keep in mind, like, you could just keep it for next Christmas and wrap somebody's stuff up in it. Or you could just act like you don't even care and just toss the box in the garbage. Either way, the hair quality is bomb, so let's just see how it comes. Your package from China Lace Wigs will come in one of their standard boxes. The box that I received was a Christmas box, but they do change their boxes periodically. You can check them out on chinalacewig.com. The unit that I received is a 20 inch 360 lace frontal. It does have a pre-plucked hairline and it is 180% in density. The hair texture is virgin Brazilian and it is a curly texture. The curls on this unit are actually really beautiful, as well as the ends looked very healthy. You will need to wash your unit when they are curly, so that way you can get the packaged or the factory curl texture out and a more natural curl texture. The color is a natural dark brown. This unit is also an HD Swiss lace, which has invisible lace. It does come with baby hairs on the unit, 
and you will need to bleach the knots if you prefer to. I went ahead after this portion of the video and bleached the knots. The lace is very close to my own skin complexion and as I stated it is their HD Swiss lace. These are the knots in the unit. As I stated you will need to bleach them to your preference. With the 360 you can do many different styles such as ponytails, updos, and braids. Make sure you check out China Lace Wig. They have plenty of wigs to choose from. Okay, so the one thing that I noticed as I was cutting the lace off, because I did cut the lace in the back because it's a 360 and there's no way I'm going to be able to cut in the nape while the wig is on. So what I did notice is with China Lace Wigs, they put their name label right here underneath this comb, but it's sewn directly over the slots of the actual adjustable band. So it kind of like defeats the purpose. So I'm just going to say this and I'm going to say it once. Don't do that. Being that I went ahead and put an elastic band in it, this might save me. This goddamn lash better stay on for this end of this video. Just gonna get into this before this lash comes on. All right, all right, you guys. So the first step to putting on a lace wig or installing it is putting it on your head. Make sure you get your clips, your tools, you know, your styling stuff. You'll definitely need clips unless you want to cut all the hair off by accident. So go visit your local Dollar Tree and get you some clips. Now, if you really want to cut the lace off with an eyebrow trimmer, I'm just going to say this, and I'm only going to say it once. Girl, it's hard work. You need to get used to it. Make sure you don't cut yourself or the lace too much. My preference is scissors, but a girl be trying to be a little bit fancy, so that's the reason why I got me a new set of eyebrow trimmers, and I'm cutting away. But trust me when I tell you, I have cut myself already on camera. Not my forehead, but my finger. So just be careful. Now I'm going to go ahead and customize the lace wig. It's a little bit too big on the sides, you know, kind of like over flapping my ears. And I'm not really into, you know, the lace over my ears. So I'm just going to part directly above my ear, get my scissors and cut directly onto that part. This will help your wig lay flatter and it'll also help it be a lot more comfortable. And plus, we always want it to look as natural and real as possible. So get yourself, get yourself a rat tail comb and just part directly over your ear if your wig is hanging over your ear. Now this step is definitely optional, especially because the lace is invisible, it's HD, it's Swiss, so you really don't need any type of baby hairs or sideburn hairs. But being that my head is long, I definitely need some sideburns. It makes me feel like it's more natural and it makes me feel like it's definitely growing out of my scalp. But before I do that, I'm gonna cut off this extra tiny piece of lace. It does matter, trust me. Extra lace does matter. Even if it's tiny, it matters, so cut it off. Now that I have gotten that taken care of, to apply my wig, I'm going to be using the bed head. This stuff is really expensive, so be careful of where you purchase it from. Me, I got my three cans from Amazon for only $25. Normally, they're $20 a can in the store or a little bit less. Bedhead is a vendor on Amazon, so you can be rest assured that this is a real product and you can purchase a three can set for only $25. Now you can either let the product dry or you can take out your blow dryer and dry it on a cool to medium heat. Sometimes I do both. It just depends on the mood I am and especially for video's sake. If I didn't blow dry it on camera and just let it dry on its own, it would take me a little bit longer or the video would be longer. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't want that. Now the one thing that I love about using hairspray is it ain't like glue. Glue is messy, it gets all over, it's harder to wipe up. And as you guys see here, it's just a lot easier to tack down with a rat tail comb. If you spray a little bit on your rat tail comb and just place it onto your lace, then you're good to go. But with glue, this is a little bit more challenging. And as you guys see right here, it cleans up really well with hairspray. All you have to do is take out a wet wipe and girl, you good to go.
Now, I really don't like my baby hairs or any type of hair, flyaway hairs, too long. But, I mean, if you want to have, like, a super duper long baby hair or sideburn, then, girl, you do what you like. But for me, I cut them a little bit shorter. And then I'm going to take out my Dollar Tree Salon Seductives Mousse and apply that to the front of my hairline. I love this mousse. It's only a dollar at the Dollar Tree, and it's really worth it. Trust me when I tell you, it does not lift your wig up. I have had um, mousses that actually did that right after applying the wig, which kind of left me in a pickle, okay? So don't spend a lot of money. You can definitely go to the Dollar Tree and get you some mousse. And all I'm gonna do is basically brush and sculpt the hairs a certain direction, and that's about it. Girl, do you see this lace? Nope, you don't. It's really nice. I really am like appreciative of this invisible lace. Like seriously, less work for me. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and style the wig. I decided to part it on both sides. And need I mention, I forgot to mention, when I bleached my yacht and my knots, I used the 30 developer along with that, the B2W bleach. I get all of my products from Amazon because, girl, I can't go to the beauty supply store because every time I go to the beauty supply store, I end up buying more things than I need. So I figure if I just call Amazon and get what I need, then I'll save money. And just to lay the hairs down and apart, I'm just going to take that lot of body and some of my mousse. You don't need both. The nozzle on the mousse was broken and I was having difficulty, so I just decided to use the lot of body but they all work the same. And I'm just gonna take the lot of body, which is not hardening like the mousse, and just put it in the front so that way I can get the hairs to lay down a lot smoother. And you could easily do this with the nozzle of your blow dryer. These curls are actually so pretty, like, hello, look at my pinky. I'm using it for something, okay? But the curls are really pretty in this unit. Plus, the lace is cute, too. I'm, like, feeling this unit. Thank you, China Lace Wigs, for coming through and improving. Like, you know, it's always great to see companies evolve. And especially when you can do all of this cool stuff with your hair. I just thought I would show you guys some different hairstyles that you can do with it, especially because it's invisible lace. China Lace wig okay so first of all this is not a disappointment you know what i think i worked with them probably like six seven times i don't even know girl but listen this wig is bomb as hell this is definitely a go-getter okay like once the camera focuses so like look at the freaking lace like you know what i'm saying like it's definitely like damn near transparent. I really do like this wig a lot. I wasn't too happy about that box. The wig is bomb. I don't care if you put it in a plastic bag and send it to me with a bird flying on it, you know, delivering it. I don't really care as long as the wig looked like this. Like, sometimes we be overdoing it with the packaging and then the wig look like crap, but honey, listen, let me have it the opposite way. I could care less about the box, the bag, the amenities, but I'm saying if you want to send it to me and it's really worth it, then great, but please don't discount the wig quality with the amenities in the box packaging. I'm not about to walk outside with the box on my head it's very full like this is some beautiful curly hair and it's so freaking amazing because i did a video right before this one which was also really pretty curly hair the only thing was the lace color was a little bit too dark for me so i kind of was not like bummed out by it because i could always definitely hook up the lace but the hair was gorgeous. But when you can get everything all in one, you definitely won't be disappointed. Look at the curl pattern in this. Like, she's so cute. And she's a 360, so you can, like, put her up in a bun, hun. You know, I'm quick to put something up in a bun. Once you finger comb it, girl, then it is definitely swollen. It looked like a pregnant wig because it's so big. But, ooh, that rhyme. Here I go again with my bars. You definitely don't have to wear it down. You could show all the lace, girl. Like, listen, be lace-tastic or whatever. I don't know. Here I go making up stuff again. Let the lace out, all right? Let it breathe. Let the world see it because they can't. 
like, you know, I do have my favorites and then I have my I likes and then I have, okay. And then it's like, oh, hell no. So I'm going to just put, you know, say China Lace Wig up there with my favorites because my favorites is only a few companies, like three. Yeah, like three. I say this because their wigs look so freaking natural that like you will forget you have on a wig. So I'm putting China Lace Wig up there with my favorites and they up there in that category. Okay. You know. Get what you pay for, girl. Listen, I need to know what y'all think. This is where I definitely need all my fingernails on. You know, I got to show, like, the cutage. But we just gonna go with these two, okay, for today. And they actually came in really handy for making parts. On that note, you guys, I got to go. Got to go and attend to my family. You know, it's later on in the evening, 5.50. I got to go. On that note. I will see you guys in a soon to come video. I love you. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share this video with everybody. Make sure you check out my peoples at JP Crafting Company if you want to be hooked up. Well, you can get hooked up by using the discount code, but I'm saying if you want a really nice shirt, girl, because I am a lady. I am. Make sure you check them out, and I'll leave all the information below for China Lace Week. So on that note, I got to go. Ain't got to do no video, but I got to go. So I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.